All right, so while well, back to the trailer for Anything for Jackson. Uh, looked to be a nice uh, religious horror. I do have a sweet spot for those. Um, possibly with a little bit of a twist. So let's do the twist and find out how it was. All right, so we've got to let everybody know it's going to be a spoiler-filled review. If you haven't seen the film yet, go check it out. Um, so basically, an elderly couple have lost their grandson, and they decide to kidnap a chick, and because they are Satanist, uh, perform a ritual that will uh, take the soul of their dear departed grandson and put it back into, or put it back in, or put it into the baby that this chick's about to have. There's your twist. It's not a bad one, actually. Of course, uh, you know, what happens when you're dealing with the devil? <laughs> Hilarity ensues. All right, we start off with likes, and boom, right off the bat, big like for me, always. It wasn't cookie cutter. Um, you know, uh, definitely a, and it wasn't honestly even really a religious horror film either. Um, it was more them, you know, taking an idea and twisting it around of, of you know, demonic resurrection and, and, you know, everything else. And so them trying to put the, soul of their their grandson into this specific vessel was was, was not a, a bad little twist and then they handled it very 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 well um because ultimately um you know you, you, it, it never goes right when you when you summon up the old demons uh it's not supposed to think about it uh so you know the fact that they they kind of honed on that and then um the the concept or the idea you know that they botched the ritual opened up the old uh, gate and uh, we got to have ghosts come through or souls come through seeking out a new vessel it was not bad either so again very well written very clever and, and a nice a nice twist up on a on a couple of different concepts I very much like that all right so dislikes uh, this is a tough one honestly because. You can't really say anything terribly bad about it, but it's not one of those movies where after it's over you're like, ah, oh, fuck yeah, that was amazing. And that's always a, a very uh, a subjective and a very sort of, you know, feeling and guttural thing. So it's hard to, to you know, logically argue that out, um, uh, you know. I think that, that maybe one thing that kind of occurred to me um, is, you know, it doesn't really fit the definition of the typical horror film in so far as, you know, um, it's not psychological. There's clearly ghosts and sort of, it's not really religious, even though they're dealing with Satanisms and upside down crosses. Um, you know, if you're a gore horror, there's a little, but probably not enough to make you happy. Um, so I think that it's, it, while I applauded, it's, it's turning up and twisting the, the conventions of certain genres. I think that, it's ultimately watered down each of those to where if you are into that particular one, you may not get as much out of it as you thought. Tough call, though, because like I said, it, it's not, there's nothing bad about it. It's all very well acted, written, directed. Everything looked just great. You just, again, this is a tough one because it's not a logical argument. You just feel wanting more. All right, it's pinhead time, and, you know, there's definitely a lot of good here. I really think you should see it. Um, because I just didn't get that visceral experience out of it, and honestly, that might just be me from being jaded. I don't know. I'd like to give it a lot more, but I'm going to play it safe, and I'm going to go ahead and give it three and... Well, I need something for you to sit on, but it's three and a half, whatever that hand symbol is, three and a half pinheads. All right, so what did you guys think? And I, I say that much more so than I normally do, because, again, I had a kind of a rough time with this. It's nothing bad. You can't say anything bad about it. So maybe I missed something. If so... Hmm, let me know in the comment section below.